It was a little over a year ago I came out of the Grand Canyon and Dr. Regina Benjamin, the U.S. Surgeon General, had said it was her dream to conquest Mount Kilimanjaro. Would who would think here I am on the attempt to climb Mount Kilimanjaro with some amazing, inspiring women who are using this as a vehicle to overcome their challenges in life. This is in honor of people who have fought so hard against cancer and haven't made it and will make it to the summit for them. From cancer to HIV to arthritis to obesity, these women choose to climb. And this is the start of their story. Well, I'm an ovarian cancer survivor, and I guess, actually guess I'm actually one that actually still has ovarian cancer, because I learned about three weeks ago before the climb that, I, uh, that my cancer had returned again. And September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. So it's a, a chance to bring awareness about this disease. About 15,000 women will be diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and about 12,000 women will lose their lives to ovarian cancer. Symptoms of ovarian cancer mask a lot of other symptoms such as bloating, urinary incontinence, uh, constipation, a sense of fullness. Oftentimes it's not diagnosed or it's not diagnosed until it's too late and you're in your late stages, as was in my case. I was stage 3C at the time that they discovered I had ovarian cancer. So Wonder Woman was really uh, my little um, super shiro uh, during chemotherapy. Um, I kind of used the cuffs uh, for uh, visualizing fighting the uh, cancer cells. And so Wonder Woman has gone with me all the way through all my treatments and uh, is just someone that uh, is kind of fun to, um, to think about rather than the disease itself. Well, this picture is uh, Kerry Kalmbach, and uh, he's a fellow that goes to my church. And um, he has uh, got stage four lung cancer. And uh, he's actually in hospice right now. And so I want to honor him as we climb. And we're honoring a lot of different people along our way. Some have cancer, uh, some have HIV, some maybe have a need for knee replacement, or they're folks that we love and uh, have supported us along our way to prepare for this journey. Uh, walk to honor those that still live with this disease of cancer and HIV and other maladies and we also remember those who have lost their lives to cancer and other maladies. Because we can walk, we will walk, and because we can climb, we will climb. We, we choose to climb! Can we wave? No. <laughs> Linda Lewis, we dedicate this to you. She's one of my best friends that I met early in recovery. We lost her to breast cancer about three years ago. She beat it the first time, the second time, and she did it. Okay, Brenda. Thank you. How you look, or what you do, or if you, yeah, you know, for the yeah. Holy cow! It's amazing. Ah! We arrived! One day! Day one of climbing Mount Kilimanjaro was uh, it was a pretty easy trek. It was just about almost three hours of hiking. Not a real steep grade, but we did go from 6,000 to 8,000 feet. Today is day two. We've already done 1,000 feet. We're up past 9,000. We're kind of in the clouds, but it's been just amazing. From the uh, portable potty that we had yesterday, which was a luxury in itself, to the great meal we had with cream of cucumber soup and 
beef and vegetables, and of course, a little glass of Chardonnay, so you can't do without that, even when you're climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. The story continues. What are you eating? I'm, eat, I'm eating gluten-free base camp boost that was made by Gluten Free of Houston, who supplied us with all these nutritious stat, snacks for the line. Uh, they're great. They really are. Yeah. Well, what's this? Don't stop. This is our model, right? Don't stop up the mountain. Right, absolutely. And and this is by my Arosti chiropractor who uh, <laughs> helped me and several of the other women with the fascia of our um, different parts of our body and uh, took the pain out of our legs and out of our glutes and uh, is making the climb more successful. But well, we're on day two, right? We're on day two. And we yeah. are gonna choose Order. to climb to the top. Absolutely, and Order we won't coming. stop till we get there. Hello. You feeling okay? Yeah, I am. I'm now deciding to really do poly poly. <laughs> So we just finished day two hiking. The energy is great. You know, we've actually got a glimpse of Mount Kilimanjaro behind us in the background where the sky's kind of cleared. We've had some sunshine. The temperature is perfect for hiking and everybody's spirits are high. We haven't had one complaint yet. And that's what you love to hear on a five day, six day trek like this, heading to the top, the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, 19,341 feet. Jumbo, Jumbo, Anna, Abari Gani, Masuri Sana, Wakiri, Makari Bishwa, Tanzania, Injinzuri Sana, Tanzania, Injinzuri, Hakuna Matata, Narai Si Wetu, Hakuna Matata, Namawaziri Wetu, Hakuna Matata. Na wabunge wetu hakuna matata Na madiwani wetu hakuna matata Na mabalozi wetu hakuna matata